And today is going to be sizzling, guys. The hottest day of the week. It's already warmer out there this morning and really a lovely and peaceful sunrise view here from our Windjam Resort camera. Already the low 80s, mid 80s, 10 a.m. Noontime will be into the low 90s. In fact, some areas could be getting close to the mid 90s this afternoon. And a heads up between 2 to 4 p.m. That will likely be the hottest part of our day as it will feel like the triple digits and you really want to take those extra precautions, drinking plenty of water, making sure your kids are hydrated, whether they're going to be at summer camp or out and about, and also just have the umbrella close because there will be the chance for a few showers and possible storms developing as we get into around 2, 3 p.m. Although you'll notice from our models, they will likely be over the western suburbs and then push westward over the Everglades, and eventually the Gulf Coast could be dealing with some torrential rain if you're headed in that direction. Tomorrow morning is a dry start, so get outside in the morning, then in the afternoon, in the evening, another round of scattered storms. Sunday morning, rinse and repeat will wake up to a dry start, but the storms look to be more widespread Sunday afternoon into the evening. So if I was to pick a day, I would say tomorrow is the lower rain chances compared to Sunday. The wind is out of the west southwest. That's heating us up. The tropics heating up too. There's an area in the eastern Atlantic. The hurricane center is giving a medium chance of cyclone development. And here's a look at some of the preliminary forecast models showing that as we head into the middle of next week, uh, this area invests 94L could be near the lesser Antilles. So certainly something that I'll be watching and keeping you updated and highs will remain hot tomorrow with the low 90s with those storms in the afternoon. Sunday, even more rain and more cloud coverage will lead to the upper 80s and will remain unsettled with high rain chances. So there is a chance we could see some minor flooding in spots through the weekend.